Hello YouTube. Today I have 2007 Lexus GS350. And this one is the all-wheel drive model. And I believe some is uh, two-wheel drive and some is all-wheel drive. You have an engine lights on it. And according to this right here, it have the uh, cooling thermostat. So uh, it could be the sensor, it could be lower cooling on our stuff according to this right here have only one code the uh, PO 128 only so the uh, thermostat just right here and just pop up this cover because the air duct here kind of like on the way a little bit so I'm going to take this out and what you have to do is take this clip out from here on this one is pretty much broken all of it and um, this one out so plenty of room right there if uh, you take that out. so I didn't drain the uh, <clears throat> tank but I put my I put a tray under out on the bottom to catch the uh, coolant for drip okay. so when you do this make sure there's no pressure make sure the car is cooling down Okay. Uh, sometimes have pressure is can and hot, so be careful when you do on your car. Okay, on this one right here, you can go around the back. You don't have to take this out, um, but I will take mine out. Um, you don't have to on this right here. The bolt just right there. You know and you can do without taking this out but uh, easiest way just take them out is better okay there's a bolt under here if you look straight here you can put your finger you can feel the 10 millimeter down here and if you want to take this hose out you can but you don't have to either you can use a 10 millimeter wrench from here like this and then the bar the one on the bottom you can use this open close box wrench and use your finger to find where the wrench at the bolt the nuts you can feel it by put your finger down here okay so now it's loose I can use my finger to turn it. it just pop up. See that? <clears throat> the um, the um, thermostat housings already break off, so that's why it pop up the code. Maybe that is not even closing or opening. Okay, let me show the new one. See, so this is a new one. And that is break off. See, yeah? not even hold the thermostat. So that's why popping the code on this right here. So now we put the new ones in. Okay. Very easy. Um, I would say if it's hard you can take this hose down uh, the hose can on the back where the other nuts go in okay and you have to push the hose otherwise it doesn't let it go that easily in there but you can do it without removing that hose just let you know that one on the bottom here 
when you put it in it gets a little bit harder because uh the uh the host that on the bottom here is kind of on the way but you can get it done okay all right so everything's tight put this back up It's bleeding right now, so you see the bubble right there coming up. So as soon the bottle is gone, go away. So I'm gonna shut off the engine, let it cool it down. Everything has been checked and filled up the coolant, and the temperature was at reaching normal. So now I need to go test drive to see if the curves coming back again.